good evening children so today we are going to start lesson 6 everybody's water so turn to page 80 so as we all know water is the most essential element for all living beings we use water in many purposes in our day to day life right from the moment we get up from our bed in the morning till we go to bed at night so many times we use water a day so it's our responsibility to use water very very carefully not to waste a drop of it now let's come to the book so this lesson is actually a play so it would have been better if we had acted it in the form of a play but unfortunately it's not possible now so you will get many characters in this play which are look at your book woman farmer young man tv journalist somebody ocean rainfall lake ground water water in a bottle sea water tap everybody judge and land so these are the characters which are in this play now let's start with scene 1 of the play so it goes like woman wo- wakes up to brush her teeth she turns the tap on there is no water farmer goes to water his crops in the field but there is no water in the well when woman goes to the hand pump to fill water and there is no water young man goes to a pot of drinking water the pot is empty so how the scene starts the scene starts with a woman who goes to the tap to turn it on she goes to the tap to brush her teeth but there is no water in the tap then comes the farmer who goes to the well to fetch water to water his crops in the field but there is no water in the well as well now the woman who went to the tap to brush her teeth goes to the hand pump to fill water in her bucket but there is no water in the hand pump also now a young man goes to a pot of drinking water but the pot is also empty there is no water in the pot also there is no water in the tap there is no water in the well so the very first scene alarms about the scarcity of water now scene 2 tv journalist breaking news live and exclusive on earth tv all the water has disappeared from our planet all water bodies have filed a case against everybody to solve this problem everybody must be present at the court hearing today so the second scene starts with a tv journalist of the channel earth tv who gives a breaking news that all the water from the planet earth has disappeared and all the water bodies that means ocean lake sea rainfall ground water la- all the all those water bodies have filed a case against everybody now who is everybody everybody refers to the whole human kind whole mankind because mankind is the is the main responsible uh, factor for wastage of water so all the water bodies have filed a case against everybody that means against the human kind and to solve this problem of scarcity of water everybody must be present at the court hearing today because all the water bodies have filed a case against everybody so everybody must be present at the court hearing today now the third scene next third scene meeting of water sources ocean 
old series for centuries now we have been misused by everybody it is about time to stop our supplies because if everybody continues to treat us badly we will all be finished the others clap to show they agree so now old and serious ocean continues by saying that uh everybody has misused water for centuries and it's now our time to stop our supply to everybody to stop our supply of water to everybody because if everybody is not concerned about us then why should we be if if everybody is uh, uh, going on wasting water then we will all be finished one day so it's better to stop our supply right now because at one point of time we may come to almost end of our water supply so it's our time to stop our supply to everybody now and all the water bodies now agree to what ocean says by clapping their hands and they are showing that they agree with what ocean said now rainfall angry if only they had saved some of me nobody would have suffered now rainfall says in a very angry mode that if some of the people had saved some water of me then nobody would have suffered today now lake sad and fragile i used to have so many shades of green and blue these days sir my colors are changing from blue green to gray sludge i am filled with harmful smelly chemicals all my fish are dying now lake seem to be very sad and fragile very sad and weak that means and lake by addressing ocean lake says that i used to have so many shades of green and blue that means lake says that he used to look so green and blue and clean and clear but today he looks very dirty now his color has changed from green blue to gray sludge i am filled with harmful chemicals uh, how his color has changed from green blue to gray sludge because it has consumed all the harmful chemicals that has that are emitted from industries or factories so the color of lake has changed from blue green to gray sludge it has become all dirty because of the chemicals that are emitted by the factories or industries and all the fish of the lakes are also dying because of the harmful chemicals now groundwater in a resigned tone everybody wants to chase me out everybody wants to drink me up i try to hide in little corners but every time i hide a new bore well comes and draws me out i'm getting tired of this hide and seek because i lose all the time i'm not a magic vessel with an endless supply now groundwater continues in a resigned tone by saying that every time i try to save myself by hiding in little corners but every time everybody finds me and use something or the other to draw water out of me for their drinking purpose they uh, use bowels new bowels to draw water out of me for their use but i am really tired of this game of this hide and seek game i try to hide myself then everybody finds me i am really tired of this game because i am not an i am not an not a magic vessel that i'll have endless supply of water in me that the more they use me the more i'll be able to say supply them water i am not a magic vessel one day all the water from me will also be finished so it's so i really want to save myself and i'm really bored of this game that everybody is playing with me so i try to so i 
want to save myself now see come everybody needs us we just have to understand each other i know so many people who have sung songs to me written poems about me come to my shows every time the sun sets everybody is not bad let's tell everybody how we feel and solve this problem so so now c continued in a very quiet and calm tone uh, uh, by saying that uh, everybody needs us now c said something very contrary to what the other water bodies had said something very opposite c said something very opposite to what the other other water body said uh, she said that uh, everybody is not bad but uh, everybody needs us actually but uh, they have to understand that how we feel when they misuse us and everybody should try to solve this problem so she said something she has not complained like the other water body said she said something very contrary to to the others now next page water tap let's face it if people didn't have water would we be happy if nobody need used us of what use would we be we need everybody just as much everybody needs us now water tap says that let's face the problem let's face the problem and find out the solution for it instead of just complaining and water tap also says that if uh, people didn't have water of what we use we are here if people come to us and we cannot supply them water then there is no point of our existence so just as everybody needs us we also need everybody everybody comes to us so that they can take water from us so that they can fetch water from us and they, and we are also here for that purpose only to supply them water so both of us are dependent on each other so let's try to find out some solution for our problem and not complain about it so i think you have understood till here and i think you are also enjoying this play so i'll wind up today's session here we will do the remaining part in the next class thank you bye